Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'll be putting these two watches head to head and figuring out which is best. Now, both of these watches are actually quite similar in specification, in size and in their features. Uh, both dive watches, both um, have a water resistance of over 300, both have ceramic bezels, both have pretty much the same movement, they both come on bracelets, and uh, they're from two quite popular brands. Uh, we've got Christopher Ward here with the Trident uh, Pro 600, and the Steinhardt Ocean One Premium uh, Black Ceramic, and this one is from Norman Watches, which is a limited edition with that faded dial. I've got uh, both of these as full reviews on my channel, so if you're interested in more detail on either of them, um, please have a look on there. Uh, but in this video, I've got this list of uh, criteria, and I'm just going to award a point to whichever watch wins that particular category. Now, the Christopher Ward I've had for a little over a year, and before that I had another, the Mark II Christopher Ward, so I'm very... Uh, sort of in the know with Christopher Ward watches. I know what to expect with them. I know they're a great um, value proposition. They are just really nice watches. Uh, I haven't had as much experience with Steinhardt, although having received this watch last week, um, it hasn't really left my wrist. I've been really enjoying the Steinhardt Ocean One. Um, so I felt this would be appropriate to actually, even for my benefit, just to see which is technically better. And maybe if I was gonna sell one, which one would I sell and which one would I keep? Um, so let's go through the list and uh, we'll start with the case. On First thing on my list is the case. Now, the Steinhardt is very much a Rolex style watch. That's one thing that we've got to get over straight away. The case is very simple. Um, it is nice and thin, um, or it appears thin on the, on the wrist. Um, it's got a nicely sloping bezel, but we'll come to that later. Um, the crown guards are really quite good on here as well. On the Christopher Ward, this is their, what they call light catcher case. So this has got a lot more going on, uh, a few more nice polished parts, facets, you know, a, a, a difference in polishing and finishing. Um, again, it's got crown guards. So I think the case award will have to go to the Christopher Ward just for a bit more imagination. And it is really their own design, not Rolexes. So that goes to Christopher Ward. The case back, having a look at the case back, the Christopher Ward is the stamped Trident logo. Really attractive, really nicely done. One of the better stamped cases I have seen or milled case, case backs I have seen. Um, you know, nice and clear defined logo there, quite attractive. The Steinhardt, however, wins this one because it does have a sapphire clear case back and you can see the nicely decorated movement in there as well. Of course, it's not super high end. It's the same movement pretty much that's in the uh, Christopher Ward, um, but I would say, and I'm sure most of you would agree, this case back wins easily. So that is a point for the Ocean One. By the way, I have not rigged this in any way. I don't actually know what the outcome will be myself, so I'm as interested to see this as you are. Moving on to the crowns. Looking side by side. Now, the Christopher Ward crown, um, though very you know, solid, chunky, easy to use, the crown guards don't actually protect it all that much. Um, it protrudes it out quite a lot. And actually, if you think of the, the kind of coin edge bezel style here. The crown has got these kind of lines which don't really, this cog style crown, it is signed. In fact, both watches are signed. You'll see the Steinhardt S logo on there. I'd say if the signing is better on the Christopher Ward, but the overall crown will have to go to the Steinhardt. I really like this nice sharp um, kind of uh, pointy crown edge rather than the blocky one on the cog style on the Christopher Ward. Um, and it's also snugly inside those crown guards without being hard to use. So the crown will have to go to the Ocean One. Now, bezel. I'm a sucker for a good bezel, and I always, uh, that's one of the first things I look at when I try out a new dive watch. Um, the bezel on the Christopher Ward Trident, let's give it a turn. Um, and I'm talking just about the actual bezel here, not the insert that's coming soon. 
So it's got a really quite a nice action, but if you do spin it fast, it seems to change in sound a little bit, jump about. Um, there is a little bit of back play. I'm not too worried about the back play as long as it lines up, which it does, but it's the feel that you get from using the bezel. And I feel like the pitch and sound kind of changes as you go. And I feel like there is somewhat of a movement in it. Um, I actually had to return one of these watches because the bezel wasn't seated properly before. Um, now the Steinhardt is a, a very defined, really nice sound all the way around. And I feel like this is just a better bezel design simply. It is a sub-style bezel. It's nice and easy to grip from the top or from the side. Um, it does stick out of the watch a little bit as well. Um, and yes, it does allow for that sloping insert too. I'm going to give it to the Steinhardt. I think this is one of the nicest bezel actions I've ever tried on a watch of this price. So the Steinhardt is sort of running right away with it at the moment, but let's see how we go next. Now, let me get these back straight or straight enough. Uh, the inserts next. Now, both of these are ceramic inserts. They are both sloping right up to the crystal. The crystal protrudes just high, slightly higher on the Christopher Ward. I would say that the quality of the manufacture of the bezels is pretty much as good as each other. Um, however, the Christopher Ward does have one party trick and that is that it's loomed. So I'm going to have to give it to the Christopher Ward because it has a loomed bezel, even though I am not that fond of loom bezels really. I don't see much point in them because I never really see them glow um, given how I use the watch and where I wear it, etc. However, um, I think that deserves a point for the insert. Now, crystals. This, uh, the crystals are both sapphire. Uh, you'll notice actually quite a surprising difference in size. If you, the watches are this exact same diameter, but maybe it's partly to do with the dial design on this. However, uh, the crystal is actually larger on the Christopher Ward and it goes right up to the edge of the bezel. And then the bezel, I think, is just marginally thinner than the Steinhardt. Um, crystal wise, uh, the Christopher Ward protrudes just a little bit more. The AR coating is about the same. I believe they're both clear AR coated. Um, you know, with these kind of colors though, it doesn't really matter. You don't get any kind of blue streaks as you look from different angles and into light and so on because it's not a, a blue color AR, it's just clear. Um, I quite like the Cyclops. Having seen both of these watches and, and spent time with them both, I'm gonna have to give it to the Steinhardt just because of the Cyclops, I think. Um, now, I know this is controversial and please guys, this is my own opinion. Um, you're welcome to disagree and I'm sure a lot of you will on this case, but I think actually I would like the Cyclops uh, option on the Christopher Ward. The Steinhardt does have the option without a Cyclops, whereas the Christopher Ward doesn't have an option with one. So maybe that that is reason enough to give it to the Ocean One uh, or Steinhardt generally. Now, the dial, looking at the dial, the obvious first thing you should say is Steinhardt didn't really design their own dial. This came from um, Rolex. Essentially, the only thing with the dial here that's a bit unusual is the faded background, which um, I really quite like. And I, there's a blue version as well of this one from Nomen Watches, which is um, just as pretty. The Christopher Ward dial is nice. However, there is this controversial logo placement and um, I really don't like those markers at 12 that look a bit like big teeth, um, big like rabbit teeth or something. So I am gonna have to give this again to the, the Steinhardt as a general, just the dial as the dial. However, I'm pretty sure the Trident is gonna win the next one, which is hands. Yes, Rolex hands, they are attractive, they are cool, but they are Rolex and not Steinhardt. Christopher Ward did a great job designing these hands. These are updated for the Mark III and they definitely give the watch some identity, um, which perhaps it didn't 
it somewhat lacked in previous iterations and it help, does help set it apart as its own watch, not as a copy of a Rolex or a, um, you know, Amiga or something like that. So I like the Trident on the end as well. Finally, Christopher Ward wins something and that is the hands. Now the movements are actually the same. It's a shame we can't see inside of this one, but this is a Salita SW. 200-1 I believe, which is essentially a clone of the movement that's in here, which is the ETA 2824-2, as far as I remember. Um, now, first of all, this movement is somewhat modified by Steinhardt in terms of the finishing, um, and I think given the choice for the same price, people would choose ETA over Salita, even as though there is literally no technical difference as far as I'm aware. Um, it's, you know, you, you often hear about higher end brands, Tag Heuer, even Breitling of, of old, even, even higher end brands often use ETA movements. So you never really hear about them using Salita movements. Perhaps I'm wrong. Please feel free to collect, uh, correct me, but I'm going to give it to the Steinhardt just based on the finishing of the movement as well. And it is a real ETA in there, not a Salita. I don't know if that really matters to most people. Bracelet. Now, this is where it gets tricky. The bracelet on here does have screwed links, and this is something that Christopher Ward really need to embed in their bracelets because this is the old pin and uh, collar system, which is fairly easy to use, um, but the screws really make this one stand out. So. You might think, that's is that enough reason to give it to the Steinhardt? Well, not really, because the Christopher Ward has some significant advantages. The first being the quick release. You're able to quickly release this bracelet, uh, which is far easier to do than that one. And you have the micro adjust, the sort of sliding adjustment there as well. So really easy to use, no, no tools required to remove or resize this bracelet, essentially day to day. Christopher Ward wins this one. Um, big time. So where are we at on this board? So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Yes, there we go. I've done everything. So it is a win for the Steinhardt. However, however, there is, uh, after I wrote this list, I realized there was a few other things perhaps I should have included. So I've done a bonus round as well. Either way, 60, 40%. Um, yes, I can see pay maybe I'm leaning towards the Steinhardt, but let's have a go with this bonus round to see if there's any change in that. Now, bonus round is water resistance. This is something, um, I it doesn't per personally matter to me so much. Um, because realistically, none of us are gonna dive to more than 30 meters, 40 meters, 50 meters, let alone 600 meters like the Christopher Ward can go to. Um, it is an impressive feat. Uh, it means the watch is well built. It means you absolutely no worries about taking it in, into the water. Likewise with the Steinhardt, it's 300. It'll tackle pretty much anything. So I have to give it to the Christopher Ward because the number's higher. But it's, uh, you know, it's one of those things that I think people get hung up on a little bit. And just because it's higher doesn't mean the watch is better. Um, now the brand, here's an interesting one. I like the Christopher Ward brand better, I would say, than Steinhardt, simply because Christopher Ward do design their own watches. Sometimes they look a little bit similar to something else. But uh, firstly, it's English and I'm biased but also I am more drawn towards Christopher Ward's offerings than Steinhardt. I would get more excited about a new Trident release than perhaps a new one of these. However, now that I've tried this one, I will be looking forward to Steinhardt's social media and so on in the future as well. So I think Christopher Ward gets the brand as well. Now value, here's a tricky one too. Um, based on all I've talked about and considering the prices of these watches now, the Christopher Ward is a list price of eight nine five dollars uh, on the bracelet, just like this. That will will bear that in mind for a second. 
the Steinar is $530, as it is here. Now, the Christopher Ward does come with an extended warranty, five years. This one, I think, is two years. But the key thing to remember is you should never, ever buy Christopher Ward at full price. So it's not really fair to say this watch costs not almost $900. Realistically, you should be paying around $600 for this one. So it is going to be more expensive than the Steinhardt. And then I've got to think, well, is it $100? Is it worth $100 more to have that nicer bracelet and the clasp? on the Christopher Ward, because that is the key things that it sort of missed out on. And perhaps a bit of the brand and the, that heritage from, from the UK and so on. It's a tough one for me, this, but I'm gonna have to give it to the Steinhardt because for $530 without any kind of discount is solid. So the grand total, it was four before, so that's six, and it was six before, so that's seven. So by a smidgen, the Steinhardt actually wins this battle. Again, guys, please don't <laughs> go crazy in the comments at me. These are just my opinions, of course, my personal opinions. And I'm proud I did this because actually it just shows how similar these watches are. You know, if you weigh them, they weigh exactly the same. Uh, 181 grams if they're sized to my wrist exactly the same so the similarities continue this one wears a little smaller this one wears a little bigger they're obviously different colors but you can get them in very similar colors yeah it's tricky to say Christopher Ward if you don't want a homage Steinhardt if you do there we go that's that's as much summary as I can get thank you for watching guys like and subscribe and I'll see you next time